الحمد لله الذي خلق السماوات والأرض وجعل الظلمات والنور ثم الذين كفروا بربهم يعدلون هو الذي خلقكم من طين ثم قضى أجلا وأجل مسمى عنده ثم أنتم تمترون وهو الله في السماوات وفي الأرض يعلم سركم وجهركم ويعلم ما تكسبون All praise is due to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala who created the heavens and the earth and who originated darkness and light yet the disbelievers associate others in worship with Allah It is he who created you from clay and determined the term for your death and with him is another term for you to be resurrected yet you doubt He knows what you conceal and he knows what you reveal and he knows what you earn. And we ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to send his peace and blessings upon his last prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, upon his family and upon those who follow his guidance until the day of judgment. The class tonight inshallah is titled, Why Don't You Pray Five Times a Day? This is a message for a person who is turning away from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. We want to bring him back to loving Allah azza wa jal. We want everybody to love Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And we want for everyone to be guided. And we sincerely wish for everybody to be able to make it to paradise, to stay in the eternal enjoyment of paradise. This message, don't take it as a lecture. Take it as a word of advice. From a person who might have been sitting in your place years ago. Not only that, but he was struggling with these five daily prayers. I myself, your speaker, I had hard time praying these five daily prayers long time ago. It was very hard and very difficult on me. Every night when I go to sleep, or so many nights when I am about to go to sleep, I would sit, think about my day. And I would say, subhanAllah, today I only prayed one prayer. Or I only prayed two prayers, and I skipped three or four. And I would always say to myself, tomorrow morning, I'm going to start praying the five daily prayers. And I know that many people have said this, that tomorrow morning, I'm going to start praying my five daily prayers. But you know what? The morning have never come for many people. Usually we start our lectures by saying, dear brothers, dear brothers in Islam, and dear sisters in Islam. But tonight, we don't know what to say. Because we know that we can't say, oh brother, who doesn't pray the five daily prayers. Because Allah Azza wa Jal states to us clearly in the Quran, فَإِن تَابُوا وَأَقَامُوا الصَّلَاةِ وَآتَوُوا الزَّكَاةِ فَإِخْوَانُكُمْ فِي الدِّينِ If they repent and they start praying and paying their zakah, then they are your brothers. And we start our lectures by saying, Dear Muslim brothers, dear Muslim sisters, but you know what? We might not even be able to say that. Because the Prophet ﷺ says about Salah, whoever leaves it, he has truly committed disbelief. But we call this person by saying, O servant of Allah, O slave of Allah, we want to share with you a couple of words. Why don't you pray? Have you asked yourself this question before? Why do so many people fill the masajid, they fill the mosques for prayer, and you do not come to the salah. Are they better than you? Or maybe you think that you are better than them. Maybe you are too arrogant to put your forehead in the floor for Allah Azza wa Jal five times a day. We hope that this is not the case. You know, they said that one of the philosophers who did not accept Islam, he said, whenever I see a mosque and I see the people praying, I become very sad that I am not a Muslim. But Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala chose you maybe to be born as a Muslim. 
Allah Azza wa Jalla says in the Quran, "Rubama yawdu al-ladina kafaru law kanu muslimin." Maybe the disbelievers will wish that they were Muslims. Another person who was a Jew who accepted Islam, he said there was a question that will always come up to my mind. This question will always come to me over and over and over. Why don't I accept the religion of Islam? But he said this question will be raised more in my mind whenever I see a simple man, a simple person who's praying and he's enjoying his prayer to his Lord, his Creator. And I will say to myself, I wish I could also pray like this person. I wish I could talk to God like this person. And then he said, finally, I submitted, but after 65 years. Why don't you pray? You might say, I don't pray because I don't have time. Because I don't have time for salah. Because I'm so busy with this dunya. And this is an answer that you find from many people or you receive from so many people. Didn't you know that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has sent down this wealth for you so that you may be able to establish the salah? As it was narrated in the hadith that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says that we have sent down wealth so that you may be able to establish the salah and so that you may be able to pay the zakah. This is the reason why Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is giving you this wealth. You might say, Allah gave me this wealth because He loves me. And in this case we'll say, can't you be ashamed? Can't you become shy from Allah Azza wa who gave you this wealth and you are saying that He gave it to me because He loves me? Why don't you stand before the one whom you claim that you love? Some people will say, I don't pray because I'm working. And I heard this from some people. It was, uh, I was told from so, some people that this was the argument of some of the people that didn't pray. They told them, we don't pray because working is an act of worship. So we're worshiping Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala by just working. Well, the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said that there is a kind of a slave who's called Abdul Dinar, the servant of the dinar, the servant of the dollar. Or maybe you're thinking about the dollar as the almighty dollar. And you're not thinking about Allah Azza as the almighty Allah Azza This is why you think that running after the money and running after your work is the act of worship that you should be doing. If anyone was to be excused from not praying because he's busy with his work, it would have been the one who's fighting in the cause of Allah Azza wa the one who's giving his soul for the sake of Allah Azza wa But even for this kind of person, Allah didn't excuse him. Allah Azza wa describes in the Quran very precisely the prayer of the people who are fighting in the cause of Allah Azza wa Half of them should pray and the other half should be watching and so forth. Very precise. So if anyone was to be excused, it would have been this person who's protecting the honor and the land of the Muslims. A sick person was not excused. If you can't pray standing, the Prophet ﷺ said, you pray sitting. If you can't pray sitting, you have to lay on your side. You can pray laying on your side. There is no excuse. And again, the question comes, why don't you pray? Some people might say that I'm just, you know, I'm just lazy to take off my shoes and make wabu and I don't want to go through all of that. But I have something for you. You know that when you just make this simple wabu, when you just wash your hand three times, rinse your mouth, your nose, you wash your face, your arms, you wipe your head and your ears, and then you wash your feet, did you know that just by doing this act, which will might not take you more than a minute and a half, and then you say, Ashhadu an la ilaha illallah. I bear witness that there is no God but Allah. And I bear witness that Muhammad sallallahu is the messenger of Allah. Didn't you know that all eight gates of heaven will be opened for you as the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said? After this, after knowing this, I don't think you should become lazy.